What's up YouTube, NBA here, and today, before the video start, I would like to say happy holidays, Merry Christmas to everybody watching this video, I know, this Christmas has been, I don't know, it doesn't feel like it, but hey, nonetheless, Merry Christmas, and in this video, I'm playing Rush 101. You saw the build, Stretch Playmaker. I haven't touched this build in so long. I haven't, like, yeah. But this build on the Rush 101 was fire. Like, this build could run guard, but when it can, like, run center, I can't do that too well. So, you see, I go to the baskets. That looked like a contact dunk. And when that happened live, I was like, damn, is that a contact? And then I realized I'm on a Stretch Playmaker. Why would I get contacts? I have a 65 dunk. And a 65 dunk on a power forward is too nice. If you have a power four with a at least a 60 driving dunk, her, you know. Imagine having a 70. Like you get park dunks and you get better dunk. You get better dunks, and I just see a Twitter notification. Uh, uh, I guess I pull up this game. I was nice. I don't. I don't think I missed a three pointer in this game. I think I green a majority, if not all, of my three pointers. You know. And I didn't even realize because I wasn't even trying. You see, I get the, you know, the forced layup. They wouldn't let me get a slithery. You know, I saw, I thought slithery on bronze was fire, but it's not. But it don't matter because we get a stop. And that's the good thing. When we go against point guards, like, we can get, you know, some rebounds. Even though I have, like, a 60, like, 8 rebound. Like, this build's at 98, so. So I greened that shot, I greened this shot, like, I didn't even realize, I was just shooting the ball, like, damn, 88 three-pointer on this game must be nice, that was, like, the three-pointer for play shots last year, I swear it's fine, like, damn, you know, I had to hit him with a speed glitch, because you cannot get open on this game, you have to do dumb things in order to get open, and the speed glitch is definitely one of them, and I get playmaking takeover, and this doesn't really mean anything, like, in this video, you're gonna see, like, maybe two ankle breakers, and I get Plymouth and take over every game, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do. I don't know, but I do. I will get Plymouth and take. I miss a midi somehow. Just gotta be trashed it to, to miss midis. I don't know, man, I'm just bad. But, you know, I get the rebound, so it's all good. And I'm like, you know what, let me just end this game. But no, no, no. That's not what I was thinking at all. I just take a contested shot. I really thought I was open. Like, the contest on this game is kind of crazy. Like, people recover so fast on this game. And damn, like, I'm trying to get an ankle breaker right here. And then I'm like, right here. You know what? Just end the game. Do the speed glitch to the basket. Easy layup. Well, that is game one out of four. You know, 98.8. I'm about to hit all star, uh, actually, superstar one. I think I'm like 44% right now after this recording. And I haven't, been, I haven't been playing park too much, but game two. Going against the play shot, another one. In this video, we go against three play shots, so I guess that's pretty good. Another green. You know, this jump shot is fire. I might give it to you guys if you guys ask for it. Like, I might make a whole video just dedicated on one jump shot. Like a friend on my friends list. You know, he gave me the jump shot and the damn it's pretty good. I cannot lie. It's probably better than my old one. It looks similar to my old one, but my old one was slower. This one's a little faster. I'm leaving this guy open. He's using Kobe Bryant as a jump shot. He greens it, but hey, like when I was editing this video, that man shot bad. Alright, he shot pretty bad. I cannot lie. So, and this guy, he's like disrespecting me. He thinks I'm a slasher. So, you know what? If you want to disrespect me, I'll take the mid. You know, I can take the mid range, mid range shot too. I got a 91 mid range. So, hey, you know, he does it again. You know, I'm looking for the midi again. I step back, green it again. I'm very close to takeover very fast. I don't even think I got a block. I don't know how I get Plymouth can take over that fast on the rush when I want. You know, he's leaving me open. I really want to take a three. And I miss it. But it doesn't matter because I'm very fast. I have an 89 speed and play shots. They have no idea how to rebound sometimes. 
my play shot can, but that guy can't. I finally go to the basket, get a little like two hand clutch reverse. I don't know how you call that dunk, but it's like some, but it's fire though. I get takeover pretty early. You know, I got 13. All it took was 13, and I'm trying to get an ankle breaker. And this is the problem with the rush. People like to run. They close app. This is like the park's version of running away from like a matchup. So I decided to just cut the game. You know, you guys don't care. I was just taking layups because I lost an AI. I'm not gonna lie. First game on rush, I lose an AI. We don't talk about those because I did not record it. But game three, uh, I think that's another play shot. I wasn't even looking at my screen. And yep, this guy, like this is the third time or second time people keep disrespecting my midi. Like, come on. People see stretch playmaker and they, they think I'm gonna go to the basket every time. Like, that makes no sense. I'm looking for threes and middies. Like, the only time I'm gonna go for the basket is if either you're pressing me too high or I'm trying to get takeover or you're being weird on the game. I tried to take a lip. I tried to get a little, you know, slithery, but it did not work. That man did not fold. He has 10 toes. Uh, that man he missed. Later in the video, he will start greening. So, yeah, he prepared. Look at that. Behind the bag. I make it. That's a cold spot, too, if you didn't see. I don't know how I get cold spots. This is like a tradition, kind of, on every build. I have cold spots in the midi. Like, how you get cold spots in the mid-range area kind of makes no sense to me. Like, you miss maybe, what, three shots, you never take a mid again, and then it, 2K decides to count it as a cold spot. Like, I don't understand. Like, I have cold, not cold spots, I have hot spots everywhere on the three-point line, and 2K is like, I don't know. Like, I mean, I love, don't get me wrong, I like hot spots on, you know, the three-point line. You know, I like it because I take those shots a lot. You see, I get takeover. The game is pretty much over as you think. You think it's going to be over. You know, I'm trying to get an ankle breaker. And I do right here. Look, look, look. Hey, finally. I don't know. Is that an ankle breaker? Let me know down in the comment section. Is that an ankle breaker? No, I, I think it is because I never get ankles on this game. If you don't know, stretch playmakers do not get ankle breaker. They only get space creator. But finally right there, I make him touch the ground. And oh my god, I'm trying to finish the clip. And right here is tragedy. I try to like step back or do like a little hesitation and then go to the basket for game. But 2K makes me try to pump fake, man. Like, and look at the score. Like, yeah, it's takeover. I really thought I was about to lose. And look, look at the shot he takes. Like, this man thinks he's really good. Just because you got that sharp take on you does not mean you take stupid shots, bro. Like, this man would not go to the basket. And I kind of respect him for it, but come on, bro. That's IQ. Like, go to the basket. You're down 16. Not 16. What? What am I saying? You're down 6. Like, come on, bro. Take the layup. And I took the layup because I'm smart. So, game 4. You see. Center. And I hate centers. I hate inside centers. They make me annoyed. So, this game... This game is really boring because I'm just going to the basket. And as I go to the basket, I do I do get blocked. You know, I'm not gonna lie. You know, I mean, he's 7'3", so he's not 7'3", but you're tall. So that's what you're supposed to do. You know, I get a contest, but he's bigger than me. And oh my God, he's a standing dunk. Man, I was so like intense this game. I was focused. You see, I could have stopped. This center was actually really bad. He could not score on a stretch playmaker with like a 50 interior. That man, I know he's mad. I get a green. One of the rare three-pointers I took this game. Because I wanted to win. Because this is my fourth game. And I wanted to win the big, you know, 5,000 VC. But trust me, if people weren't on an inside center this game, then I'd probably take a lot of threes. But you know what? I want to be weird. Because you're weird. Bringing a center onto the rush one-on-one. -on -one. That tells me that you're just bad on every other build that you have to run post scores, you have to run paint beast, you have to run glass cleaning finishers, glass cleaning lockdowns on the rush one on one. Like come on. Like, how do you have fun knowing that you're a center on the rush one on one? Like what are you doing on here? I get the last second dunk. I said it before beginning of the video. I can dunk the ball nice with a 65 dunk. 
and I win rush the second time I won rush on my play shot you can see that video I'm not gonna give you guys like a little link for it you guys are gonna have to find it I'm not gonna find it for you and I win it right here and yeah 5000 VC the video is over like subscribe Merry Christmas and I am out